The salmon makes her way back to her stream where she was born. This is where she will spawn her eggs. Hello, did you know Bradon is Irish for salmon? Finally, she arrives at the stream and is looking for the perfect spot to spawn her eggs. The shallow water is full of clean, loose gravel and is the perfect spot for the salmon. She digs a pit with her tail and lays her eggs. The male fertilizes them. This is a red. It's the egg's home and is built by the female salmon. The red is built to protect the eggs from predators. Eggs need oxygen to survive and grow. After the female lays her eggs, she sometimes dies and is left for predator's dinner. I guess salmon is on the menu tonight. I guess I'm on babysitting duty tonight. The male salmon stays on guard. He watches over the nest. The salmon absorbs the yolk sac and is now an elephant. After a while she will be a fry. The fry leaves the red and travels downstream. She is now 3 to 4 centimetres and she likes her space. The caddisfly, caddis larva, mayfly, stonefly, midge larva are all on the menu for the salmon. Yum yum. Mm, yum yum, what for breakfast? Predators of the salmon include the pike, the eel also like to eat salmon. Otters also find them tasty. The heron eats salmon too, as does the kingfisher. With all these predators, the salmon needs to take cover. Now the salmon is a pair and she is 10 centimeters long. She's getting bigger and stronger every day. The salmon is 13 to 14 centimeters. We like to call her the super smolt. Salmon has to watch out for pollution and also the juice from the silage bit. The animals can also make pollution. Littering pollutes the lake, as well as algae slipping in, and also silage. Animals can pollute the water also. We also need fencing to keep the animals out of the river. Life on the estuary is tough. The salmon faces many dangers. Such as factories, farming machinery, oil spillages, industrial housing estates and fishing nets. The salmon has new predators. And new food, yum yum. See the variety of food that the salmon eats. As you can see, the heron and the seal both eat the salmon. The salmon hopes the salt water won't affect her blood pressure. The salmon is now at sea, but she still needs to keep away from danger. Her predators, the shark and the seal, are looking for the dinner. She needs to keep away so she doesn't become bait. If the salmon survived one winter at sea, she will now be called a grizzle. And if she survived two winters at sea, she will be called a spring salmon. Now in the sea, the salmon needs to survive on something. She eats sand eels, sprats and krills. The salmon is leaving the sea for now. has survived the journey from the river through the estuary and life at sea. She begins the journey all over again and seeks out where she was born. The life cycle begins all over again. It is a tough journey, but it ensures the salmon's survival.